Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. So tonight we're going to have a look at this awesome pair of pocket binoculars from US Camel. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this awesome pair of binoculars and help support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description below because we do get a commission when you purchase this item. Also, before starting, just want to thank the good folks out at US Camel for sending me this pair of binoculars to review. Let's get started. In the box, you get a carry pouch. In the back, you got a little belt loop there. User manual. You also get a lens cleaning cloth. The pair of binoculars, that also has a lanyard on it. All right, let's take some quick measurements here. Going across this way with the binoculars closed up all the way. Coming in at, what you guys think, about two, two and three quarters? Yeah, let's say two and three quarters closed. Opened up. What do we got opened up? Just about. Eh, just about four and a quarter. Open up all the way. And then overall length. And about three and three quarters. And just to give you a size reference on how small these pocket binoculars are. Here it is next to this delicious chocolate donut. Mm. Just to give you an idea for how big the 21 millimeter objective lenses are, put this quarter right on there, so it pretty much covers the lens. And to have a look at the eyepiece end, this should fit pretty much on the inside of it. Yep, there you go. All right, these lanyards are detachable here, but they are not removable from the pair of binoculars themselves. It is just kind of embedded in there. But I'm going to remove these so we can have a look at what this is going to look like when you got them in your pocket. Here we go. I promise you this is not a magic trick, but that just disappears. And that's why you call them pocket binoculars. All right, let's get this on the scale so you get an idea for how much weight you're gonna be adding into your pocket or into your pack system. So I got 6.6 .6 ounces. And just in case you're wondering, that weighs almost as much as two full decks of cards. All right, let's take a quick tour around the US Camel 8x21 pocket pair of binoculars. So as we can see here, we have a nice rubberized finish on the barrels here, on the barrels. All right, let's take a quick tour around the US Camel 8x21 pair of pocket binoculars. As we can see here around the barrels, we have a nice rubberized finish. Feels really good in the hands. Again, we have a 21 millimeter objective lens. You can see that green full multi-coated lens there. Eight times magnification. Single bridge. This is your focus knob. On the right hand side, we do have a diopter for focusing your right eye. We'll go over that in just a second. Lanyard. Permanently attached to the pair of binoculars at this point, but it is removable with these plastic clips here. And we also have two hinges on the side of the bridge here that allows these pair of binoculars to fold down to such a compact size. And because we have straight barrels on both sides here, this is a roof prism pair of binoculars. Now to properly focus this pair of binoculars, what you have to do first is you're going to close down your right eye, open up your left eye, look down this barrel, and adjust the focus with the center knob here. And once you got that into focus, you're going to close down your left eye, Open up your right eye and use the diopter here to focus your right eye. Once they're both into focus, you'll be set to use these. All right, before moving to the outdoor demonstration, I just want to clarify a couple of the terms used in the description of these binoculars. So the first thing you're going to see is BAK4 prism. That's not a prism. BAK4 is a type of glass used to make the prism. This is a roof prism pair of binoculars. Now, there's a couple of different grades of BAK4. This is probably not going to be the high-end type of glass we're going to find in higher-end models. The second thing is the use of FMC or fully multi-coated lenses. As we can see here, there are coatings here, but unfortunately, there is no industry standard for fully multi-coated lenses. Now, the main thing we're looking for is when we look through these eyepieces, when we're looking down the barrels here, do we have a crisp image? And most importantly, do we have any weird color aberrations around the edges of the object that we're looking at? If everything is great, it doesn't really matter. Let's give it a look. 
All right, here is the target that we're going to be looking at from 60 feet, 120 feet, and 275 feet away. This inside circle here is about 12 inches across. Now, keeping in mind when we're watching these videos, it's through the camera on my phone. It's not going to be an accurate representation on the clarity of these lenses, but instead it's going to give you a very good representation of what it's looked like at eight times at 60 feet, 120 feet, and 275 feet away. So again, the images aren't going to be the crisp but in my opinion the images that I saw were absolutely fantastic for a budget pair of binoculars let's give it a look all right here we go 60 feet away apologize about the vignetting on the upper left and right hand corner it's really hard to keep the camera steady also it looks like there's color fringing on the bottom left but there's really not but the target looking really really great we're gonna see that fringing disappear uh, here we are 120 feet away target still looking good again that's not color fringing on the left. That's the camera trying to focus in on the target. And when it does, it, it kind of blurs out everything on the left and the right. So we can't really see that, but the target's looking really good. And then here, 275 feet away, we see that the color fringing on the left kind of goes back and forth. Again, that's just the camera shifting back and forth, but really clear, very crisp images coming out of this really budget pair of binoculars. Once again, guys, this has been the Pair Pocket Binoculars by U.S. Camo 8x21. If you're looking for a great pair of budget binoculars for your kids, or if you just need something to stash away in your backpack or your car, this might be a great option for you. Well, all right, guys, this is the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this pair of binoculars, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.